Today we are going to teach you the differences among sleep and sleep, sleep with. Are you together with me? I am going to show you how to use these three words in the sentences. These words are totally different. They're totally different in terms of their usage. The way we use this one is totally different from the way we use this one and the way we use the, this one. Sleep means what? Asleep means what? And sleep with means what? What do these words mean? What do they mean? Aya magamba sobanu ye ichi mubjukuri akoreshkwa ate munheru. Harabanu wa yitiranyi. Never mix up these words. Nice. Before I teach you this lesson, I would like to show you this book. Have you seen it? This is a very wonderful book that is there to level up your English language. The second thing that I want to tell you is that if you are a new student, try your best to press there on subscribe. There, just you see the uh, red writing. There, the word, the red word, the red word, which is subscribe. Try to press on that word if you want to get our lessons very well. Subscribe. Nice. The third thing that I want to tell you, please, my dear friend, Kundeva. Try your best to send these lessons to your friends and relatives. Oherereza, I am masomo. Inshutinabavandimne, my dear friend. Ichini shako kugira. Please, ni ushaka kuigi chonjereza neza. Nguino chimi rongu hafi ya gari. Tukuigi chonjereza neza. Nguino kuri YouTube. Wigi chonjereza neza hano. Nguino kuri Zoom. Tukuigi chonjereza neza. Ahos wa asanga wa jenzi wawe. Wagufashe kuzamura level. Mururimi gui chonjereza. Kuri YouTube ra hawa sanga kukura sanga comment ba jeva ndika ndetse ba jiye ba nandi kinjero zitando kanya kumasomo amge na amge very fantastic good you are going to know these differences uje kumenya itando kaniro jaya magambo uko aratatu the first word to that is a ijambo jambere ni sleep this word is used both as a verb and a noun. Bishora gukoresh as a verb or a noun. Bishora gukoresh sleep as a verb. For example, uh, I am going to sleep. That's a verb. Njiye kuryam. Njiye gusinzira. You can use this word as a, a verb or as a noun. For example, yesterday I was sleeping. Ejo narim yam. Icho jihe wari koreshe nga verb. Ya by past continuous. I was sleeping. Past continuous. A verb to sleep. Oh, you can use, you can say, uh, where is John? John is sleeping. John hmm? is to sleep. Yes, John is sleeping. Fantastic. You can also use it as a noun. For example, when you say, have a good sleep. Sleep. Have a good sleep. When you say, have a good sleep, Good. These are other examples for the word sleep. Is in here. I am very exhausted. I am very exhausted. I want to sleep. I want to sleep. Here, this to sleep is a verb. Hmm? Then here, we are going to see sleep as a, as a noun. I had a good sleep yesterday. This sleep is a noun. Ibitotsi, java ibitotsi, good sleep. Najizi ibitotsi, jiza. But here, it is a verb. It is a verb here. A unique verb. But we are going to see the difference between sleep and asleep. Sleep and asleep. What is the meaning of asleep? Where do we use it? Tu yikoresha hei. It is used as an adjective. E yikoresha kwa ngiti nyazina. E umu nurero utsinzi liye tuzavugangu. She is asleep or he is asleep. 
Tuzavuge ngo she is asleep. No. Don't say she is he. She is asleep. She is asleep. Uh where is Jenny? She is asleep. No. Jen is asleep. Is asleep, which means that he are sincere. If you mean sincere, do correct. Asleep, okay? Changwa she is sleeping. Do you have to verb? Very fantastic. Let us continue saying other words. Fantastic. Asleep here. Asleep. 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 Asleep is used as an adjective in a sentence. It can be used as an adjective. We will see how we use it as an adverb. But today, we are teaching you how to use a sleep in a sentence as an adjective. Tuje kukwereka uko wakoresha a sleep, a sleep in a sentence. It describes the noun. It describes the noun. It explains the noun. Okay? Here, you only say, my son was asleep for over six hours yesterday. My son was asleep for over six hours yesterday. Ushat to wango umungu wanje yasin ziri yamasaha arenga tanda tu ejohashize. This means that you are dis describing your son here. Then the action of sleeping that your son did yesterday for over six hours. You are going to use the word asleep as an adjective. Ujie gukoresha the word asleep. Ugara gazo muhungu wawe uko yare yara meze. Yara sinziri. She was asleep. Yara sinziri. He was asleep. He was asleep. When you say my son was asleep, you are describing the action that your son was doing by that time. Okay? How was your son yesterday? Uh, what did your son do yesterday? Ejo. My son was asleep yesterday. Asleep is used as an adjective in a sentence. Vango, asleep is an adjective. We pronounce it as asleep. Asleep. It describes the noun. Igaragaza izina. Umunhu. Yara mezate yara sinziri. He was asleep. She was asleep. I was asleep. We were asleep. There, very nice. For example, here you can say, my son, okay, my son was asleep for over six hours yesterday. Umungu wanjia maza masa hatanda tu arenga tanda tu. Umungu wanjia maza masa arenga tanda tu asinziriye ejo hashes. Don't say my son was asleep. No, my son was asleep. No, my son was asleep. For over six hours yesterday. Where is John? John is asleep. John are sinziri. Umunu sinziri yetuza koresha asleep. They were asleep. Bariba sinziri. They were asleep when I came to their home. Naje murugi wago nsanga ba sinziri. They were asleep. Don't say they were asleep. But here you are allowed to say, Shorakukoresha, they were sleeping. But don't say they were asleep. Nice. But don't say they were asleep. Say they were asleep. Nice. Don't disturb her. We move. Sakuriza. We move on. She is asleep. Ararija. Nyara sinziri. Don't disturb her. She is asleep. But to sleep with. To sleep with is to have sexual intercourse with someone. To sleep with is to have sexual intercourse with someone. Is to have sex with someone. When you say to sleep with, nu kujama na numun. Nijot kita to sleep with. For example, you can say, she sleeps with her boyfriend. Arjama na nishutia yumuhu bakundan. She sleeps with her boyfriend. Boyfriend. To sleep with is to have sexual intercourse with someone. No, kudia mana no 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 moon. They don't use our go come and sleep with me. No, because because eh? Do you want to sleep with me? No 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 no. That's not English. Can it say when to shaka if you know when the to to use hand? But to sleep with ujo ujo umbayo kumunu ni ana koresha. They slept with eh? 
with their husbands. I slept with my, my, my wife yesterday. Uh, John slept with uh, that girl yesterday to sleep with Ubuzi Chindi Chini. Uh, for example, you can say, I don't like to sleep with people. Yes, I don't like to sleep with someone I don't know. Oh, nuns don't sleep with any person. Nuns, they don't sleep with any person. Yes, those are the differences among sleep, asleep, sleep with. Start from now and try to make your own sentences by using the three words I have taught you today. Hey, then, uh, then uh, we are going to give you, after this, this lesson, we are going to give you uh, the last part of our lesson. In English, we say a long sleep is the best medicine. A long sleep is the best medicine. If it tots be able to see the same Eh, buriya ujyo kunda gusinzira nabyo birafasha cyane yes ni ngo kwituwa mwanya <laughs> but there are some people who don't have time to sleep hmm? but if you have time to sleep please go to bed and take a long sleep ariko nanone gusinzira cyane oversleeping nayo itera ibibazo don't oversleep no gasinzira cyane birenze but a long sleep is the best medicine bye bye and please buy the book Bye.